Hey everybody, this is Nate at 907 Bikes, and I'm going to be showing you how to trim your hydraulic brake hoses on a non-pro-built 907 fat bike. For this year, we're specking SRAM level brakes across all models due to their great cold weather performance and simplicity of installation. Let's get started. Tools you will need are an 8mm open-ended wrench, a T10 Torx wrench, and a hydraulic brake hose cutter. Additionally, you will need two barbs and two compression fittings. These will be included with your build kit. Beginning with the rear brake, remove the rubber boot and slide it down the brake hose. Then loosen and remove the compression nut with your 8mm wrench. Gently remove the brake hose. Slide the compression nut down the hose to keep it out of the way. To size your rear brake hose, hold it in the desired position above the brake lever, keeping in mind some of the hose will end up inside the lever. Generally, we recommend leaving a gentle arc in the hose, or enough to rotate your bars 180 degrees comfortably and without binding. Once you are satisfied, trim the hose using your trimmer. Insert a barb and get the first few threads started with your fingers. Using a T10 Torx, finish threading the barb into the hose until it is flush. If you thread the barb too far, it will cause the hose to bulge, and you will not be able to install the compression fitting. Now, install a compression fitting onto the barb, remembering it is reverse threaded. Reinstall the hose into the brake lever and tighten the compression nut down to 5 newton meters or 47 inch pounds. Place the boot over the nut and you're done! For sizing the front brake line, we recommend leaving a gentle arc as well, but short enough so that the apex does not contact the head tube. This will rub the paint while turning and over time cause friction damage. If you're careful with the above trimming procedure, you will be able to trim your brake hoses without losing any fluid from the lever or the line. If, however, some fluid does escape, we recommend bleeding the brake for optimum performance. As always, we recommend you visit your local bike shop for a final checkover before riding your new bike. Thanks for watching, and have fun on the trails!